Fans of Prime Videos, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, have reason to celebrate this week. Um, do you mean fans like this? Not only is season 2 of this epic series already under production, but according to The Hollywood Reporter, a new character has also been announced for next season. Círdan, one of the oldest elves in Middle-earth, is set to join the Rings of Power's ensemble. Ah, I can already predict my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, to all mean friend and welcome to yet another video. Well, it seems, my friends, that they are really going to do it. Oh yes, the first season of The Rings of Power on Amazon has not even ended, and they are already making season two, or they begin the production. Now, my dear friends, if you are visiting this channel for the first time, please feel free to check out my videos. I'm a humble European guy who likes to rant about pop culture on his channel, the good old European law who has devoted his entire life to the finer things, to the good stuff. And among them is, of course, the books written by Professor Tolkien and other greats of the fantasy genre of the 20th century. And we know by now, my dear friends, that the Rings of Power has nothing to do with anything that Professor Tolkien wrote. Everything that we have seen so far as of making of this video of the show, The Rings of Power, has been constructed and made up by Amazon. 100% of the story and the characters are Amazon's Prime Videos, Uncle Bezos's and the showrunners is J.D. Payne's and Patrick McKay's. And even those characters that they used from the appendices to The Lord of the Rings, such as Galadriel, or as we should call her, the Amazon's version, I mean, Galadriel, has been changed into something that is absolutely unrecognizable. But of course, they are going to take it even further. Uh, just don't even think about the fact that the, the show is not very successful all around the world. Now, of course, there are people who like the show. I believe you saw some of them at the beginning of this video. But then there are the true Tolkien fans and uh, people with brains in general who well, believe the evidence of their own eyes and ears and recognize shit when they see it. Uh, but yeah, well, let us take a short look at the article by BleedingFool.com to uh, get some updates of uh, the season 2 and why I myself don't care about it. And especially why I don't care about the information at the beginning of the video. Because why would I care about who will appear in Season 2 or what will happen in Season 2? I know already that it will have nothing to do with anything that Professor Tolkien wrote. It will have nothing to do with the law, with the legendarium that Professor Tolkien was creating his entire life and devoted hours and hours and huge chunk of his life to the creation of one of the best fantasy worlds in the world. A master philologist, a master linguist, who should really be considered one of the modern geniuses. So that I do refuse, I refuse to go into discussions, oh, there will be Círdan in the second season, or there will be Celeborn, maybe, and who will portray Círdan, who will portray Celeborn? And will we finally see Sauron in his uh, full power? Why would I care about that? Just look at what they did in the first season, what they did with Mithril, what they did with Orodruin, with Amon Amarth. They are making up their own law, and I don't care about Amazon's version of Middle-earth. There is only one version of Middle-earth, and it does not share power. Alright, let us look at this article, though. Amazon begins production 
on Rings of Power Season 2. It's official, Amazon's The Rings of Power has started filming its next season. Despite the show struggling to impress audiences, THR reports the production got underway Monday at the new Harvard Bray Studios just outside London. Unlike critics recently uh, who released mostly positive reviews of the prequel of, to the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, wrong. This is no prequel, this is Amazon shite. The general audience continues to greet the project coolly. On Rotten Tomatoes, its viewer rating was 38% against an uh, 84% critic rating, and on, and on Metacritic, viewer rating was only 2.4 out of 10, more than 2,000 negative reviews. The news of the new season production follows the first official Nielsen ratings being released Thursday for the Prime Video series, showing The Rings of Power topped the streaming charts for its debut week with 1.3 billion minutes viewed, likely an Amazon series record given that only two hours re were released. In the streaming age, the concept of TV ratings isn't what it used to be, with reports circulating this week that Warner Brothers, for instance, cooked the books for its HBO Max subscriber numbers. People watch shows in different ways now. We're not all crowded in front of the television set to watch black and white sitcoms while eating TV dinners for, with family anymore. That said, Nielsen is a third-party service, so the ratings it provides can theoretically be trusted more. The first season of the show was filmed in New Zealand over an epic stretch of 18 months during the pandemic. For season two, which will consist of eight episodes, Amazon switched the show's production to the UK, which is considered more economical and is also where the company is establishing a multi-show hub. Oh boy, oh boy. But once again, let me reiterate, let me tell you once again why I don't care about Kirdan being in the second season, why I don't even care about the second season being made. Because I <laughs> just want to read the books... I want to go back to just enjoying the works of fantasy, as I always have in my life. And to not even think about the desecration that Amazon has been trying to do to Professor Tolkien. About all the scandals and all the fights that have been going on all over social media between us, the normal people, the sane people, and the shills and grimas. It will be nice to once again forget about this abhorrent atrocity, The Rings of Power, and to just enjoy a good book or a good adaptation, like the Peter Jackson's trilogy. All right, let me know in the comments down below what you think, my friends. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching, and a Maria.